Amazing. Look, I'm just going higher and higher and higher. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yo, best day. We don't even have Elytra. Yo, Ayuki. Woo, that was close. Hey, what's going on guys? Zip here. We're in another Minecraft snapshot because it's time to show you some amazing Trident uses. If you don't know what the Trident is, well, you've been living under a rock. And in today's 18W14B snapshot, which is one of the later ones, we're going to be showing you how you can use your Trident in some amazing ways. You know what the Trident is? It was released alongside the Update Aquatic. Uh, well, I mean, which technically isn't released yet, but we know what And it's a ranged-like weapon that will allow you to attack mobs from afar, as well as set them on fire with lightning, fly through the sky, impale them, and a lot more. And there's lots of different ways to use it, other than with combat. So that's what today's video is going to be all about. If you enjoyed today's snapshot video, let me know, baby. Drop a like on that video. Why not subscribe as well as you can hit that bell and be notified of every single Minecraft content piece right as it comes out on the channel. With that, let's get into these uses, huh? Just kidding. No uses yet. <laughs> Buy my shirts. Okay, now that I've plugged, we can get to the uses. Link in bio. Use number one, right here. Use dispensers to make a better launcher into the sky. Can you reach the gold? We're looking for the gold. I'm here for the booty. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, we've got a nice little Elytra launch here. Look what happens. You hit the pressure plate, you get yourself a nice Elytra, you get yourself a nice trident, you get them nice and combined, and then look, you're in water. All you're doing is throw it on up. So why does this work, huh? Well, it's because we have Riptide enchantment on the trident, and what Riptide does is it allows you, as the player, to move super fast, whether it's raining or if you are in water. And as you can see here, we are very much in water because I am certainly about to start drowning, and we, we don't want that to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and catch my breath again really quick. We'll head right back in there and again show you exactly what this is. Essentially, we've got just a little line of water, nice little pillar of water here. We've got some fence gates to keep the water from moving and of course dispensers along with a pressure plate that will give you your trident and that will give you your elytra right as you walk across them. Although if you walk across it too many times, you get some extras. Now all you gotta do from here is look up and then boom, throw your trident. You now have a lovely launch pad. Uh, ouch. Alternatively, you can just place a chest down, grab your Elytra, grab Tridents then. You don't need the dispenser, you don't need the pressure plate. You really just need the water, and then you need a Riptide. And then all we have is our Elytra on board so that we can reach this gold after all. Oh, I just fell off at night. The worst guy. Can't do anything right. Hey, zombie! He agrees with you. You're not supposed to agree with me, man. I'm just trying to... Okay, why don't we just move on to the next use? Which is right over here. Number two, make a simple hidden entrance and use your trident in order to access it. We've got our trident right here. This one has loyalty. Now, loyalty is an enchantment that upon throwing your trident, loyalty will bring it back to you wherever you stand. And I love the little effect on it. That's really fun. I'm going to throw it again really far. <clears throat> okay, look. And look, he comes back to me. Isn't that great? Now, this can be used to trigger pressure plates that are actually behind blocks. It's kind of a glitch right now. I don't know if it'll be fixed. Sometimes they leave things like this for years or forever. So if that is the case, well, then you can use this to make some great hidden entrances. What you see right here is a lovely wall. But what you're not seeing is right on the other side, a series of pressure plates that are going to register the moment you throw this trident right above it to let us into this lovely little en oops <laughs> to let us in to this lovely little entrance so don't mind me we're gonna go ahead and go back into survival mode so that you know there's no Tom Fooley around here we're gonna throw the trident just above where the pressure plates are standing and again if you're wondering where that is the pressure plates are right there so as long as we place this trident appropriately we will in fact be able to trigger the pressure plates from behind throwing it just above the sign basically right where the pressure plates are height wise look what happens look at this yeah, play these games. I'm a king of trident throwing and other things. It is really convenient. Now, alternatively, if you don't want to hide it and you just want it to be nice and simple, well, hey, you can just use a regular old pressure plate. This one is can be used similar to the, how a bow might or how various other throwable objects might. You could even use ice to just throw an object over there. But as you can see, without the ice, it's not going to reach. Well, that's why you've got your trident right here. So a nice alternative way to reach the door opening is just by doing as you saw right there. Uh, yeah, 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 I was gonna say, it closed on me. Nah, I don't think so. But yeah, that's one of the other uses. Hidden doorways and stuff. Next use for the Triton is getting heads easy. Well, I love getting easy heads because it just makes things so much easier to decorate with and etc, etc, etc. We got a book here that's gonna kind of explain what's going on. Allow me to allow the book to explain. I'm so sorry. 
sorry. Here's an easy way to get nice easy heads. Lure a creeper and another mob if you're choosing into a water tank. Name both these mobs so that they don't respawn. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then when a thunderstorm starts, you can simply charge your creeper using your trident and detonate it. Since it's in the water, it's less likely to destroy the surroundings. That's right. We have channeling that's been placed on this trident. Now, if you know how channeling works, well, it is simple enough. When there is a thunderstorm a brewing, you are getting a two. -way. That didn't rhyme. Whatever. Real point is you hit a mob when it's thundering, you get lightning to appear. It's a good time. Everybody loves it, except the, except the cow, I suppose. I'm gonna give myself some levels so that we've got enough to use these name tags to name the mob something or another. Let's go with Hello. Mmm. Smiley. Okay. We already have a creeper nice and trapped here. This is what you're gonna want to lure into your little area so that the creeper can eventually blow up a nearby mob. Allow me to go ahead and once again turn it to nice and thunder so that the zombie doesn't burn in the light. Zombie. That is not a zombie, that's a creeper. Eee, that was a terrible idea. Why is it say zombie on the sign? Most certainly not a zombie. So we're gonna go ahead and is it see it's not a zombie. They're, they've been had. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and I I uh, We're gonna light this creeper up right here. Like so let's go. Do I that well that didn't work. Well how about There we go. Okay. Now we're gonna get him to spawn. Come on. No, no, don't! <laughs> it is harder than I thought. Take it from this point. Will this work? Not in barely. Let's hit it from right above. Ugh. Didn't work either. <laughs> Why doesn't that do it? It's the worst thing. Okay. Well, here's what we're gonna do. Okay. Creeper. Hey, get up here, boy. Yeah, you. <laughs> so let's try this again, huh? We have our victim right here. Get on in there. How come he's like invisible? He's like, he's like a little. Are you seeing him be like slightly a little invisible there? Did y'all see that? I don't get it. I don't like it, but it's okay, cause look. Okay, well, I mean, it didn't work too, sure. But since the creeper blew up inside water, it caused zero block damage. And since the zombie was in there as well, look what happens when you have a hopper right underneath. What da Zombie head collected. You can use this for zombies, for creepers, for skeletons, and I want to say for wither skeletons, and you can also technically use it for other players to collect other player heads on your multiplayer server. So, you know, it got a nice little use. And honestly, the Trident with Channeling makes it so much easier than waiting for lightning to strike a creeper. Like, come on. Let, like, let's be real. Oh, it heard me. And we didn't use the name tags, but the name tags were, as I said, to name mobs so that they don't despawn, so that when you're trying to collect them, it all stays peachy keen. You dig? All right. Time for our next use here. Number four, which is to launch yourself up in the rain. Using the, the trident, you can climb the stone and stuff. Use water to break your fall. All right. We'll do it. We got Riptide. We got Feather Falling. We got Water Bucket. We got Golden Carrot. Okay, so check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. It's now raining. Now, again, since Riptide moves you around when it's raining, you can kind of use it to get around without even needing an Elytra. We're going to worry about climbing this in a second. Look how cool this is. Watch, look at this. Look. <laughs> Amazing. Look, I'm just going higher and higher and higher. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yo, best day. We don't even have Elytra. Yo, Ayuki. Woo, that was close. We got to get over here as fast as we can. If we could, that would be great. Can we make it all the way? Oh! oh well, okay, we died. That's fine. Because we can quickly use the trident to get right back where we wanted to to begin with, which is right, right around here. And then nice. Oh, somehow. Oh, that's really laggy. Yo, the snapshots have been kind of laggy lately. I'm trying to sneak right now. Hardly if any of it's coming. Just give me a sec. Point is, we're trying to scale this mountain, okay? So you can do it in a few different ways. And you probably want to use a water bucket to keep yourself from taking damage. Such as right here. Whoa! Okay, well, <laughs> I missed, but... And go miss on this guy, check it out. Talk about some distance. Perfectly timed the bucket, and you're nice and safe. I'm so good at this Minecraft stuff. I've only been doing it for five years straight. Next use, lightning on command. Throw trident at armor stands that will summon lightning without killing the armor stand. Use this for multiple things. Yes, if you were not aware during thunderstorms, and if you weren't aware, you weren't even watching the video because I was just talking about this. You can use the channeling enchantment in order to cause lightning to strike around nearby mobs. Again, with a nice little Betsy right here, we will demonstrate. Oh, poor cow. Whoa. Okay, oops. Uh, this is the wrong one. Sorry, Betsy. It's nothing personal. Now we got the appropriate one here. And as you can see here, whenever you hit a mob with a channeling enchantment, well, it causes lightning to strike. However, you will not kill armor stands when you strike them. And as you can see, he oh boy, he's got a little shovel for me. What's good, dude? Hey, not today. Why am I almost dead? 
That is the opposite of what is good. I'm gonna eat these carrots real quick. They're healthy for me. Point is, you can use armor stands to trigger lightning without causing any sort. Really? How? Where are y'all coming from? I'm done with it. Get away. Try. There we go. And what we have right over here is a lovely little area where we're going to go ahead and cause these TNTs to light. <laughs> if I can hit the armor stand appropriately. Can you work with me, folks, a little bit? Thank you. Wait a sec. How come I didn't? How come you not like what? Can we? All right. Hey, work with me. Would you a little bit? Come on. Light. And I said light. I. Yo, that's powerful. Um, uh. Light? Oh wow, it did! How'd that happen? I was waiting, I was totally ready for it to not work. Hey, I'm extremely pleased. Yo, that's funny. I was like totally giving up and then it worked. So yeah, you can use the light TNT. Uh, a little bit unreliably, but none the same. You can do it. We got another use right here, folks. Loyalty to fight the dragon's crystals. That's right, we're headed to the end with my feather falling and my golden carrots again. What's with the carrots? We're gonna use this trident to take out all the crystals instead of having to waste them on arrows, instead of having to, really am I, I'm really stuck in a box. Hey, you can give me a pickaxe, Xavier. You're killing me, dude. Well, if you don't mind me, I'll be mining away. We'll be back in a little bit. Any day now, perfect, we did it. Here we are in the end, and now it's time to meet our friend, the Ender Dragon. Uh, give him a bend. I know, I just keep trying to rhyme. Just stay away from me. So the premise here is that you're gonna wanna take your trident and use it to attack all these lovely little, you see, cause it comes back to you, you see, in that lovely, look. Now you can attack all these like little crystals. Isn't that good? That's good. I, except I've been fired, attacked in, and nobody likes that. And, and honestly, y'all, y'all seen this enough times. Y do you get the picture? You just use it to it. Come on, yeah, you'll play like that. Can we, can we hit it one more time for good measure before the dragon breathes fire on me? Where's my trident? I'm collecting properly. Look at him. He's like, ah, uh -huh. that's the worst. Can we hit at least hit one? For the video, one hit, hit it for the video, for the vid. You gotta be joking me! Please, please hit it! Yeah! Hey, 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 mom, are you proud of me yet? Now die, dragon. Oh, we can hit him with lightning too. Number seven, underwater fast travel areas. We got that Riptide three. We're gonna use it to travel fast underwater areas. You see, look, very fast, much wow. Isn't that nice? Look, we're already to the other side. Yeah, <laughs> subscribe. Number eight, get gold quick without making a giant pigment farm. What's good, boys? Y'all about to get toasty. Seriously. We gotta change it to nice lightning weather so that we can use the channeling enchantment to turn these guys' lives upside down. It's time for thunder. Ah, 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 ah. Anybody? No? Too old? Okay, well, it's a good band. Y'all don't realize. Let's hit him with it. Ooh, yeah! And a couple of the cousins managed to live. Oh, he's pushed me in! They tried to push me in! You monsters! I'ma get them real good! And eat carrots at the same time. Wow, I'm almost dead once again. You know, we're gonna handle this from a nice distance. There we go. That's it. And check it out. We've killed all these great pigs. Although, none of them seem to drop it. And I've died again! Oh, you know what happened? I'll tell you what happened. So because we didn't actually attack any of the pigmen technically, like, none of them ended up having the actual, uh... Because you gotta attack mobs in order for them to drop something, right? So look, now we can attack them all. Look, now they all love me. Oh, wow, where'd you come from? So I'm gonna kill all these mobs, and when I do, we'll lay down how much gold I got. So after using a looting sword, it's time for us to check out our final haul. We can get rid of those stupid parts over here. So, check it out, check it out, check it out. Three gold swords, one gold ingot, 28 gold nuggets. It's okay. A down, two to go. We got an arrow pointing us through this chasm of a, like, what happened? It looks like a steamroller went right through this forest. Don't you people care about the trees? These little baby orange trees that I have all, look at, they're carrots. I'm just kidding, they're not trees. You guys are so ridiculous. Number nine, make a trident farm. You can, in fact, use tridents to make a trident farm. Who would have thought, right? We're gonna set the time tonight here and uh, let this thing take on off. An easy way of doing this is by setting a bait near a spawner. Make sure the zombies can see the villager and the drowned mob. And not me. Y'all really y'all after me? Come on. Whoa. What am I, the strongest 
What are these carrots made of? So we're gonna stand right up here so that the mob doesn't go for us and it goes for the villager instead. You see, he got all these great bow and arrow. Now, once a nice zombie spawns in, he's gonna see the villager right over there. Now the zombie, when it hits water, will turn into a drowned mob and drowned mobs have a chance of spawning in with tridents. You see, look. Look, why does he want me? The villager's over there, he's what you want. They're much better. They're all sinking underwater because they're idiots. And they're this is their dance. This is their I'm drowning dance. This is their someone please help me. I'm losing all the breath in my lungs dance. Look, and what are they, what, this one like, come on, do you need some help, buddy? I'm gonna push you on down. Have a grand old time. Look, there, now he's sinking. Now, <laughs> seriously, what is this dance? But most importantly, once they finish their dance, the dance of their people, they will turn into drowns. And you can see it happening right here. Look at them. They love it. These guys are gonna take a little bit longer. Oh, look, whoa. Hey, what did you get here? Yo, poor villager. He's just trapped in the middle of a lake, the most threatening thing that's ever been bestowed upon him. You see, this guy's got a trident. You kill it, you got a chance of getting a drowned with a trident, dropping it all over the place. Now, again, this takes a little bit, and they don't all have tridents, but as you can see here, we spawn in a whole bunch. Every so often, you get a nice one with a trident. But you see, I'm gonna get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Where's the trident drops? There, we killed a bunch of them. We got mostly zombie flesh, but see, there's a trident. Now, <laughs> I think that items float now, so I don't know that they'll be able to make it down here necessarily, but you could use a combination of bubble columns and other various blocks to bring these items in a downwards direction so that you can, hey, stop attacking my friend. So you can get your tridents and you can farm them and then you get tried. Then number 10, it's a great water weapon. Yes, number 10 is you could use it as a weapon. Well, you can use it as a weapon. We didn't cover that one yet. They're especially effective against mobs that are actually in the water. So we've got Riptide 3 and Impaling 5 on a Trident. We're going to compare it against Sharpness 5. As you can see here, the Trident is only just a little bit weaker. However, because it's got the nice Impaling, it will do even more damage to mobs that are, like I said, underwater. So here's an example of how many... Look at one, two, three. Took three on that guy. And with the Trident, one, two, uh, three... Oh. Okay, well, it takes the same amount. But with a sword, can you do this? Hey! Yo, yo, funny, I'm funny. We're literally headbutting these guys, and it's killing them. Isn't that convenient? Nice. Hey, this is the best day of my life. Anyways, my friends, that has been 10 Trident Uses. Hopefully, you can use them to help save Ariel and uh, the, his, her flounder friend. I don't remember his name. Oh, it's flounder. If you thought this video was useful, or if you think I'm annoying, make sure you leave a like on that video. Of course, thank you so much for subscribing and hitting that bell. So you'll be notified of every single Minecraft video I do. Man, I do a lot of those. <laughs> and with that, we leave. You have a good one. Enjoy the snapshots, and we will see you for the next one.